The record reflects the jury's returned to the courtroom at this time. Ms. Stafford, you're the foreperson of the jury? Yes, Your Honor. I've been advised the jury has reached a verdict in this matter. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. If you'll hand that verdict form to the bailiff, please, ma'am. Mr. Ralph, if you'll please stand. <laughs> the jury find the defendant Eddie Ray Routh guilty of the felony offense of capital murder as charged in the indictment. That verdict is signed by Ms. Stafford as four person of the jury. You may be seated at this time. You wish to have the jury polled? Yes, Judge. All right. The request to have the jury polled has been made at this time. What I will do at this point is individually will start the first seat first Juror, and I will ask you the same question of each and every juror. Uh, is this a unanimous verdict of the jury? It's answer out loud. Yeah. Juror number two, is this a unanimous verdict? Yes. Juror number three, is this a unanimous verdict? Yes. Juror number four? Yes, sir. Juror number five? Yes, sir. Juror number six? Yes, sir. Juror number seven? Yes, sir. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes, sir. Juror number 10? Yes. Juror number 11? Yes, sir. Juror number 12? Yes, sir. All right, this completes uh, your service as jurors in this matter, and I will receive and accept uh, your verdict in this matter. I will hand it to the clerk to have it filed with the papers of the court at this time. All right, Mr. Routh, if you'll please stand again. Having received and accepted the jury's verdict in this matter, by statute, I will now impose sentence in this matter at confinement for life in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice without the possibility of parole. That's the verdict of this court, and I will enter judgment accordingly. You may be seated at this time again. I will continue, Mr. St. John, as your attorney in this matter with regard uh, to your rights to appeal, and that includes a direct appeal to the Eastland Court of Appeals. That's the uh, home of the 11th Court of Appeals, which is the court for this jurisdiction, and also your rights with regard to filing a petition for discretionary review with the Court of Criminal Appeals in Texas. I will remand your custody uh, to the Sheriff of Erath County to carry out the imposition of the judgment of this court and the jury's verdict in this matter. Do you have any legal reason to state at this time why sentence should not be imposed? Uh, I would submit the court is legally insane, therefore uh, cannot receive the verdict otherwise no judge. Finding nothing in bar thereof, I will now uh, enter judgment and remand your custody to the Sheriff of Erath County to carry out the imposition of this sentence and judgment of this court in accordance with the rules and regulations of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Now then, turning back to my jury. Certainly appreciate your effort in this matter. I have constantly talked to you about the rules and what you can and can't do. From this point forward, I have no other control over you. I'm discharging you from those rules and obligations. I wanna to talk to you briefly about that. You're free to discuss this case with anyone at this point or to not discuss the case. That's certainly up to you. I want to uh, issue a statement to you, and that is that the lawyers in this matter are professionals, and they're not going to bother you about your verdict. I can assure you of that. Should anybody else attempt to bother you about your verdict, you make, make it known immediately uh, to any one of these officers of these court, uh, the, the bailiff or anybody in here will get it stopped quick, fast, and in a hurry. I have been asked by the media, do you understand this has been a high profile matter, uh, that they want to talk to you about your service as a juror. That's a decision that's wholly up to you at this point. I will issue a word of caution in this regard. You can talk to me if you want to, and you don't have to. Remember that what you say will be looked at from time immoral. I mean, it's, once it's out there and it's recorded, there's no take backs. So be careful, be judicious about what you're going to say if you decide to make those interviews.